I'm showing you two 10 minute meals that I've been eating to go from a size 24 to a size four. And I'm making Philly cheese steaks and chicken bacon ranch wraps. Yeah! I'm starting with the Philly cheese steaks first, and this is what you're gonna need, cutie. Oh, 175 grams of cooked sirloin beef strips. I'm using the GV beef sirloin strips, and they're pre-cooked and oven roasted, so I got them there. All we did was chop them up a bit smaller. We need salt and pepper to taste, three to four medium button mushrooms that have been cleaned and sliced, about half a cup of sliced green bell pepper, and half a cup of sliced white onion, two sausage buns. I like using sausage and hot dog buns because they're way lower calorie than like a regular roll. I'm using the Dempster's Signature Classic Buns, and it's 190 cals a bun for reference so that you can find something similar if you can't find exact. Then I need two tablespoons of light Miracle Whip divided because I'm making two, one for me, one for Sassy. So I'm using the light Miracle Whip or calorie wise Miracle Whip. I need a tablespoon of light margarine and my favorite is Basel Light. Two slices of provolone cheese. Look around, check the labels because this Saputo provolone cheese was 70 calories a slice, whereas most of the other brands were 90. So just look around, check. You'll find lower calorie if you check different brands. So I have a pan sprayed with cooking spray. I'm heating it on medium heat. Now I'm gonna go melt the butter and cook up the vegers. Okay, I'm going to melt the margarine and then I'm gonna add the veg to saute. So I'm gonna pour these in and then season them with some salt and some pep to taste. And then I'm gonna saute these for about five to seven minutes until the onion is tender and like translucent. And right before they're done, like a minute before they're done, I'm gonna add the beef and I'll show you that, you know, when it's time. While those are sauteing, I'm going to toast the buns. You can do it in um, you know, an oven. I'm gonna do it in our toaster oven. And just, you know, so they're a little bit toasty and ready for all the cuteness. I've lost 130 pounds total and kept it off for eight years. And I've been making versions of wraps and sandwiches like these from the beginning of my journey because they're quick and easy and super tasty. And I learned that those are like two really important things I need in order to stay on track. Because if I don't like what I'm eating or it takes way too long to make or it's too complicated, I'm not gonna stick to it. So making meals like these, not only are they quick and easy, they're family friendly, plus they make me feel like I'm not dieting. And that's why I've been able to keep the weight off for as long as I have. It's realistic and sustainable and I feel like I could do this forever because like I'm eating stuff like Philly cheese steaks and I get like <laughs> whoa <laughs> it makes me happy <laughs> let's toast these <laughs> get those buns ready hon okay so I'm gonna take one tablespoon of the miracle whip and I'm going to divide it onto both sides of this bun and spread it around get it all cute and mayoed up and ready for action. Oh yes. Okay, cutie, you are beautiful, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet nugget, spread that love. All right, these have been cooking for about five minutes. I'm gonna add the beef now, and I'm just gonna do it for, you know, about 30 seconds to a minute just to heat the beef up, and then we'll add the cheese to get all melty and sweet. Oh, look at that cutie. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so the beef has been heating up. I'm going to get the cheese now and I'm going to just tear it in half and place it in different spots and let it heat on the burner for a little bit. Once it gets a bit melty, then I'm gonna scoop it into the bun. To melt the cheese a little quicker, I'm just going to put this pot lid over top so I steam it up and the cheese gets all sweet and melty faster because I love fat. Oh, this looks amazing. Okay, so now I'm basically just gonna divide this in half. That looks great. It does. Wow. And I'm just gonna scoop it 
Oh my goodness, it's so cute. You got a cheese pole. I do. I'm just gonna scoop it in to my bun. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, this looks amazing. Get it as full as I possibly can. Wow. And then I'll get the other one all set up and sweet. Oh yes, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do this one. Oh, come on, cutie. Oh yeah, come on, cutie, light my fodder. Light my fodder, light my fodder. Oh yeah, light my fodder. Oh, oh I throw beef around. Oh, look at sweetheart. Beautiful. We're looking at a real one of a kind. Cute enough little muffin. Oh wow, let's do this, hun. Wow. Look at that Whoa. melty cheese in Whoa. there. Yes. <laughs> oh, we could put a little more sweetness in this life. A little more sweetness in there. Great. Oh, yeah. Thumbnail action now. Okay, so for this beautiful Philly cheesesteak with all the fixins, it's 482 cals, 20 grams of fat, 43 grams of carbs, and 34 grams of beautiful protein to keep you full and satisfied for this hour then, sweetheart. Let's have a little taste the room. Oh my gosh, this is Huge. loaded. Loaded with beauty. I just pinch me sassy, I'm dreaming. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so good. Next, chicken bacon ranch wraps. But if you love low-cal tasty recipes, guess what? Check out my guilt-free cookbook, low-cal versions of all your favorite food. They're family friendly, they're really easy and quick to make, I got Cheesecake, protein ice cream, pizza, french fries, pizza dip, you name it honey, it's in there. Locale Big Mac, code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. I also got this, huddled. HTLT steps, um, these boxes are empty because these Suco Bar Plus flavors are so good, Sass and I ate them all. <laughs> They're such a good snack for like traveling and stuff, so we've been taking them like on errands and traveling. So Caramel Toffee Crunch, Dirty Cookies and Cream, I can't pick, they're both my favorite. I alternate, tastes like a chocolate bar, but they have way less sugar and 20 grams of protein. Code Nicole will save you 10%. So, in a flash, you're gonna see us with that chicken bacon ranch stuff. Get ready, get ready, we're gonna wrap around. I was a rapper. <laughs> this is what you're gonna need for the chicken bacon ranch wraps. Cute Roonies. Two large whole grain wraps because I'm making one for Sass, one for me. And the ones I use are the Dempster's Ancient Grains Tortillas from Costco. For reference, if you can't find exact, they're 170 cals a wrap. Then we need two slices of turkey bacon that has been cooked. My favorite is the applewood smoked turkey bacon from Butterball and you can find it anywhere like Walmart. Some sliced tomato, um, a few slices to your preference and um, we just chopped it up like that. We need a tablespoon of ranch dressing divided into half a tablespoon each. We use the Hidden Valley Ranch because it has the best calories. It's 120 cows for two tablespoons and we are only using half a tape there. Do you actually know where Hidden Valley is? Hidden in the valley at Ranch House. Nobody knows. Your ears was better. <laughs> Thanks for ruining the joke. <laughs> Look, <laughs> uh, we need a cup of lettuce divided into half a cup each, and we're just using the chopped romaine lettuce from Walmart. 60 grams of shredded cheese divided into 30 grams each. We're using the marble from Costco. And I like to finely shred my cheese if you're new because I feel like it makes it look like you get way more when you shred it fine. Then some salt and pep to taste, salty and peppy. And then some, 100, sorry, 
200 grams of cooked chicken strips divided into 100 grams each. These are the Buffalo style great value chicken strips um, divided into 100 grams each and I've microwaved these for 30 seconds just to heat them up a little bit. So now to put the wrap together, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna put the lettuce down the middle like that and then I'm gonna put the tomato on top just um, as many tomatoes as you think is cute for yourself that looks about good and then I'm going to salt and pepper the tomatoes because my sassy taught me that it gives it flavor and then we are gonna take the bacon and we are gonna put it on and then you're gonna take your chicken sweet little chicken Oh, I broke it. Hey, nice cut. <laughs> That's what hips are for. Oh. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna place my chicken on, like so. Oopsie, that little chicken was funny. And then I'm going to take the cheese, and I'm just gonna put it all on here, Whoa. like that. And then I'm gonna drizzle my ranch over top. Come on, honey. You're being funny there. Come on. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna like, ee. oh my goodness, I packed this, loaded this full. Wait, I think let's try like so. And then actually, wait, let's try, what do you think if we folded it in like this? No, no, let's wrap it like this, hon. How do you do it? Like that, I'm even beautiful. I'm worse at wrapping wraps than you are. Then you're gonna put a pick in it and sweet Mary, you got yourself a wrap. <laughs> that's awful looking. <laughs> so that's a beautiful wrap. And now we'll make sassies and see if I can make it cuter. Yeah, and then I'll uh, edit out the first one and no one will ever see it. <laughs> and no one will ever see it. And then we'll go lettuce, tomato. Actually, like when you cut it in half, maybe we'll be able to get a picture. Yeah, it might look cuter when I put a pic when I do a picture there. Salt and pep this up real sweet. Let's see if I can wrap yours cuter, sassy. How about like that? And then like ooh, ooh. now you learn from the first one. Yeah. Now you got cute, didn't ya? There That's you even cuter. Then there you cut go. it in half and take a picture and you say, hey, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so let's try cutting this in half and seeing if it looks cute. The wrap is camouflaged under there. It is, yeah. In case it needs to hide. Yeah, it wants to hide because it's like Nicole is not a good cutter. Oh, now, perfect. See that? You see, we learned. We learned the first, the second time. We learned. I'm a bird. I fixed it. So that's sassy that I made good and then I made mine up better again and now it looks cute again. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the cows and the taste test, cuties. So calorie wise, for this lovely wrap, it's 484 cows, 22 grams of fat, 31 grams of carbs, and 41 grams of protein. Let's take a sweet little bite. Mm-hmm. This is the dance of joy. You ever watch Perfect Strangers and Belky does his dance of joy? No. Well, happy, happy, joy, joy. I can't remember how he does it, but it's fine. <laughs> the friends, I hope you enjoyed this vid. And I hope that this vid shows you, you don't have to make weight loss a punishment. Your food doesn't have to be boring, doesn't have to take long to make, hours to prep, and it doesn't have to be complicated. You're allowed to love what you're doing. You're allowed to love your food and this, just love it, just love it all the time. You're allowed to do that. You don't have to go, oh, I gotta go on a diet and eat yucky food. You can just go, yes, wraps and Philly cheesesteak. Whoa. Yeah, that's what you can do.
<laughs> Thanks so much for watching. It's not in public. Yes. <laughs> and 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 uh, fold your wrap cuter than me. Yeah. But anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Sassy and I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to watch this bit and this bit for more sustainable weight loss tips on how to make your journey fun, love your life, love your food, do this, real people, real weight, real world, losing weight, loving life. Love ya. Catch you in the next big cuter journey. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.